Um, I would have to say that one of the most significant, um, really visual experiences that I had uh, with Islam um, was my experience with Sultan Ahmed, uh, the mosque in Istanbul, um, just because it was it was so breathtaking. Like um, my senses were overwhelmed by the size and the beauty. Um, I mean, it was just it was just breathtaking. It was beautiful, and sitting in that mosque um, during during Call to Prayer and um, just hearing the echoes of the voices and um, watching this huge, vast line of people standing shoulder to shoulder, um, and just the beauty of it, the beauty of the place itself was was so overwhelming, and I was so, so moved by, um, by the Spirit in that, and um, it's just a holy, a holy place and a holy feeling, and it was just breathtaking. How about call to prayer? Do you want to say something about call to prayer? Um, one of the most positive um, views that I had of um, the Muslim tradition was the call to prayer. And um, understandably, I, I don't have a very deep... Um, understanding of what it is to be a Muslim and how, you know, how one lives um, in that faith tradition. But um, from what I have seen and from what I have experienced, it was so, it was such a moving experience for me. And um, first of all, just the sound of the call to prayer throughout the day was amazing. It was so beautiful. And um, you know, first thing in the morning, that's what I heard. And to wake up um, with that sense of this is what my day is about, um, this is what my day is going to center around, was so beautiful and exciting and like nothing I've ever felt or experienced. And I missed the sound of that when I came back to America. I missed the sound of hearing it. Um, just beaming from the minarets. Um, it was beautiful. But then also um, seeing the men run into the mosque, some of them would, you know, straggle in a little bit later, um, and watching them gather and stand shoulder to shoulder with one another. Um, I've never seen anything like it. it. I mean, there was such a sense of unity and cohesiveness and um, the importance of the community uh, in prayer and in religious life and um, just watching them all um, go through the pos postures and um, pray next to one another like that was, it was a very moving experience for me and it really just shed light on the fact that um, as Christians I think that we have a lot to gain uh, from the Muslim world as far as that goes, because um, from what I experienced in Turkey, it doesn't matter where you're from, um, what your status is, uh, the details of your religion, uh, you know, what sect you're a part of, or what teacher you follow. When it comes down to it, you're Muslims, and you're one community, and it doesn't matter where you are, you can come and pray next to your Muslim brothers. And um, that's just amazing and inspiring. And I don't think that there is that kind of uh, unity and cohesiveness in, in the Christian world. And I just pray that we can model that, um, that we can model uh, that sense of, of unity and cohesiveness and intentional uh, prayer and relationship with God that's exemplified in the calls of prayer.